Hello, welcome to another presentation uh, under coordinate geometry where we are looking at um, now we are looking at how do we find an equation when you are given the um, <coughs> you are given the gradient as well as the intercept, be it y intercept or x intercept. Okay? So what we are saying about the y intercept, if you've got an x or y plane here, okay, um, the y intercept is the point at which the line or the yeah the line cuts the y axis here. Now you know this point. If this is going to be five, definitely the x coordinate here is zero. And also the x intercept. We are talking about the point at which the the line is going to cut the what? The y uh, the x axis. And at that point, you know that the y coordinate is zero. Okay, so it's important to note those points there. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we are looking at <clears throat> how do we write an equation of a straight line when we are given the, gra uh, the gradient and the y-intercept? When we are given a gradient and the y-intercept. Now, if you remember where we are coming from, the presentations that I made are that uh, the equation that has been written in this form. This one is the y-intercept. This one is our gradient. That is what I explained. This one is the gradient and this is the y-intercept. So for the first one, what is our gradient? We say our gradient, uh, our gradient is z, 7. So we're going to have 7x. Then, oh, oh no, no, no. Our gradient is 2. Uh, with gradient 2, so this is going to be 2, then, and y intercept what? 7, and this is now positive 7 there, so this is going to be 7, and this is what is going to be our equation for the first one, that is what is going to be our equation, alright, so, now let's look at the second one, let us look at the second one, where you are given the gradient and the x-intercept. Remember what I explained here? So what are we supposed to do in this case? So in this case we say, this is our, um, all right? This is the y-intercept, but what we have been given is the x-intercept. So what we are going to have is, we are going to say, okay, this is equals to, what is our gradient? Our gradient is, uh, minus 3 over 5 x plus c this is the y intercept so now when we have been given the x intercept the x intercept is what 5 the x intercept is 5 now at the point like i i did demonstrate at the point where this line cuts the uh, the x axis y is equals to 0 y is equals to 0 the y coordinate is 0 so if here we are saying the x-intercept is 5, then y is equal to 0. So where there is y, I'm going to put 0 here. Then this is going to be minus 3 over 5. Then here, what is it? It's 5 plus c. I want to find the value of c. Then we go on here. It's going to be 0. Is equal to what? What do we get here? You know this and that will give us 1. Then we are going to have minus 3 plus c okay so now what is the value of c of course this one will come the other side so c is the same as it's going to be equal to three when this one comes the other side the additive inverse of this one is positive my uh, plus three so that is what we're going to have okay so now what is it that we have this is the y intercept which is in the original formula here well this is the y intercept so the answer uh the answer Therefore, the answer is going to be what? Our answer is going to be the y is equals to, we are here now, minus 3 over 5x, then plus 3. This 3, which is the, our c, the y intercept, because what we are given is the x intercept. Okay? This is what we are given. This is what we were given. You expect these questions and you need to. 
uh, make sure that you are going through them so that you don't make a mistake. Some people, this is the method that they even use. On the, they make sure that they find the, uh, the y-intercept, the gradient, then they put them together. That's what others use, okay? Even to find the equation of a straight line where you are given two points. Find the equation, they find the gradient separately, also they go and deal with the y-intercept separately. Then they combine and find the final answer, all right? So basically, these are things that we are, we are expected to work with. So, <clears throat> let's see. Okay, you can try something here of the same. Let me just remove this part, this part, also this part here, this one. So let me say <clears throat> the same one, right, the, with the gradient. What should be our gradient here? Our gradient must be... Um, 7, then our y-intercept should be what? 3 over 5. Then this one, our gradient should be what? Our gradient is going to be 1 over 2. Then our x-intercept is going to be 4. Alright? Minus 4. So you can try to work these questions out. I'm sure you will, they will be of help. Just to make sure that you practice this thing. I was talking about uh, mostly when we are teaching, for me, I use progress. So you find that these questions are there. Uh, so if you can have this book, it will be very good to enhance what we are presenting. Okay, so this is what I thought I could present. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Give us a comment on the benefits that you are uh, drawing from the, the presentations. All right? So... Thank you very much for watching. All right.